This is uh, Springfield's only news talk, FM 1041 KSGF. Uh, reading the uh, Davis Cellular text line, which is 536-8070. Uh, the number is 447-5743. I honestly laid in bed last night trying to figure out how to approach this because it is pretty surreal and it is counter to everything as an American that I believe in. And it's in a part of the country that, of course, I'm biased because I'm born and raised here, but a part of the country that I always like to think has their head on a little straighter than the likes of people out under Nancy Pelosi or Harry Reid or Barney Frank or others of the type. In a sense, my perception of not only what we are as Americans, but what we are in this part of the country is turned upside down. If you have not heard, there are multiple reports and audio recordings that have backed this up that Billy Long gave a list of names to federal agents here in the Ozarks to be investigated. The FBI has been in the area. We know that at least one home has been visited. And that is an individual by the name of Clay Bowler. Now, who's Clay Bowler? Full disclosure, I've met Clay Bowler. I've had probably five or six conversations with him. Give you my impression of the guy. He's a normal guy who loves the country. And he's one of those individuals that... Uh, when, when something really strikes a chord with him, he sticks with it. He's got perseverance. And at some point in the last camp, or during the um, the general election, I believe it was, or general, it could have been during, it was during the primary, maybe sometime during the last election, he developed a site called Long is Wrong. He didn't like Billy Long. He's a conservative, by the way. Clay Bowler is. He felt that Billy Long just really did not fit the mold that he claimed that he fit. So he set up a website and, and he spent a lot of time researching different news clippings and, and finding interviews and finding where he felt that, that Billy Long was not consistent, where he had changed uh, his tune. And then he would do a lot of you know, links to articles and, and then links to other articles pointing out this is different than this. And then he would show up where Billy Long was having events, uh, political events, with uh, with a camera like a journalist would. He's not a journalist, but he would show up and, and ask Billy Long, you know, you say this, but then you said this. What's the answer? And then he would post them on his website. It's pretty much the extent of what he did. He was put on Billy Long's list that was given to Federal Bureau of Investigation. He got a visit in his home, federal agents. Now, Clay Bowler was smart enough to tape what was going on. I We don't have... I'm guessing KY3 has heard the tapes because they speak of them and in their... Uh, they did a... They, they spoke of the tapes and talked of things that were said in the tapes... And in the tape, and for some reason, this Clay Bowler, he lives in Christian County. But the Greene County Sheriff was there as well. Now, they're saying that they thought that when he, he joined up with the FBI and that they thought Clay Bowler lived in Greene County. And that I, it's just kind of weird, honestly. I, I don't know why at some point, clearly, Greene County Sheriff or not would have Realize that this isn't my jurisdiction, and and I would think at that point he would have excused himself. But I I don't know I don't know why. I mean they're just their explanation is, oh well we thought it was Greene County. I, how you do that I don't know, particularly when you're sheriff. But oftentimes there are simple explanations for those things. But on the tape, are not acknowledges that the list that the FBI got, or he's heard acknowledging on the tape was from Billy Long, his office, his staff. The scary, well, there's a number of scary aspects of this. One is it's also acknowledged or heard on the tape talk about the fact that 
there are other names that have been put on this list. But it's evidently a secret list because we're not allowed to know. I don't throw away, throw around oftentimes rhetoric just to make an impact because then I feel as if when you really do need to use certain terminology in order to describe a situation, if you use it oftentimes and throw it around loosely, it doesn't have as much of an impact. It doesn't really convey the true seriousness of the situation. But I'm telling you now, I don't know how one can really argue against the terminology police state with this sort of situation. The reason we know about this, evidently, is because one of these individuals, Clay Bowler, came forward. Now, the FBI has heard on tape telling uh, Clay Bowler after the investigation that he's done nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, the exact quote, one of the quotes, see if I can find it here. Uh, I'll have to look to see if I, they, they essentially tell at some point, Bowler, that you're simply doing your duty as an American citizen and trying to hold your elected official accountable. It, it appears as if the FBI agents have seen through this. Now, one of the frightening parts about this, though, like I said, is we don't even know how many names are on this list. I don't, I don't even know how to talk about this. I would be frightened and outraged if this were somebody from the left, but I wouldn't be all that surprised. But this is, the, this is middle America. We're in the heartland. We've got a guy we just elected is supposed to be a conservative Republican doing stuff that, that, that if Obama did, we'd be screaming through the rooftops. We'll talk about this further coming up, plus we can take your calls. 447-5743. KSPR and KY3 both have been feverishly trying to get a hold of Billy Long's campaign. They're not talking. They've locked down. They're keeping their mouths shut. They're not returning media phone calls. That being Billy Long. 447-5743. The Davis Cellular text line 536-8070. It's 23 past 7. 723 at Springfield's only news talk FM. 1041 KSGF. I'm Nick Reed. You're listening to KSGF Mornings with Nick Reed on 1041 KSGF, Springfield's only News Talk FM. Storm Team forecast is partly cloudy, a high of uh, 40 for the day. It's 20, feels like 10 now. 26 past 7, 726, 447, 5743 is the number. Among others, a local blogger. Investigated by the federal government, the request of Congressman Billy Long, Billy Long saying that according to Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott, he was a perceived threat. Uh, we talked, and this is part. This is where the Republican Party is going to have to figure out: are, are they on the side of citizens and Americans, or are they like the Democrats, more worried about power and and their party and protecting their own? There is outrage, outrage. Earlier this week, a Democratic congressperson who wanted to pass legislation making it a federal crime to say anything that would be perceived or do anything that would be perceived as a threat to a lawmaker. According to Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott, this is why federal agents were dispatched by Billy Long's office because he perceived, among others, Clay Bowler as a threat because Clay Bowler had a website up called Long is Wrong and went around during the campaign and with other journalists followed him and asked him questions on tape to put up on the website. Citizen journalists, if you will. What my fear is for this country is that because this is a Republican doing it, all of a sudden, well, it's not. That's different. You know, a Democrat does it. How dare you? This is all playing off the tragedy in Tucson. That's what this is. This is what brought this up. And people like myself have been critical of those who try to capitalize off it and, and, and get at political enemies because of this. Because it's been Democrats up till this point. But now we have what appears to be one of the Republicans doing it. And my fear is all of a sudden, well, you know, 
oh, well, we don't know the full story, and, well, now, let's be fair about it. Really? Oh, I see. So it's okay for a Republican to do it, but not a Democrat. I don't play that game. We've got, can he wait until after the news? See if see if so, because we've got to get the news. Because I don't, well, let's see. Okay, excellent, good. Um, after the news, we're going to have Sheriff Jim Arnott joining us, talk a little bit about and see what details he's got and if uh, he has some... Um, different perspective than what KSPR and KY3 has been reporting on this story. First, Larry Wright's going to get us updated on the latest news. Thank you, Nick, and a good finally Friday, everybody. We do have some uh, partly sunny skies. It is clearing and 20 degrees still feels like.